Get up with the old, hey, hello? <laughs> You're standing there naked like this. You know, I don't think this is going to scare off the burglars, you know, this position right here. I got there in the living room. Crap, let's get out of here. He's on to us. <laughs> Why, what happened? He just said hello, right? Let's get out of here. I'm out of tolerance. So I would sting for hours. He's got soap on our open curtains for us. Curtains, I tell you. Family's getting bigger. I got a crazy family. My dad's going through his fourth divorce right now. Fourth divorce? His, his current wife is two years older than I am. She's 22 years younger than he is. Yeah. It's pretty weird when I still lived at home. I just have to ask her for permission to things. I'm like, Mom, can I go to the party? She's like, Yes, you can go. Can I go to that party? Sure, Mom, let's go. But neither one of us are old enough to buy beer, so I have to invite my dad. Really embarrassing. And I don't even mind, I do not mind my dad's divorces, but he keeps having kids with every wife. My dad's got seven kids and his four wives. I got a five-year-old brother, you guys. Five-year-old brother. My dad has the nerve to ask me, hey, why am I to get some grandkids? Huh? Buddy, you had your own right there. See that? <laughs> you eliminated the middleman right here. Okay? You win. You win. It's terrible. But we're a pretty close family because we bowl. Down here. And uh, it's getting bigger. We just had a, uh, my sisters both gave birth last March, so they're all just a little over a year and over. One had a baby boy, one had a baby girl. And I realized that girls have it better from the day you're born. Telling you, you have a better in life. Because when you see a baby girl, what does everybody call her? Like a girl, she's sort of, oh, look at her. Little princess. She's a little angel. What do you say when you see a baby boy? Hey, look at that little shit. Wow. Cute little crapper right there. But I'm glad they're healthy, right? Because go on the internet. You see a lot of, like, like these, these kids born with these weird defects. You know, or you watch that, there's a TV show like, that, that has all, like, the major surgeries. It's, modern surgery is amazing. This kid in Australia was supposed to have like a twin brother and didn't split right, so they have part of it like the, the head right here, part of an extra face, part of an extra arm, and part of an extra two penises and three testicles at birth. <laughs> they corrected it all at infancy. This guy's cracking. <laughs> 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 it's had horns. It's had really. How cute! <laughs> Tell me though. This guy had all these extra appendages. They corrected it all in infancy. This kid is going to grow up to lead a totally normal life. But how pissed off is he going to be when he realizes he could have had three balls? <laughs> I was thinking about it. I go, man, if I had three balls, that'd be the life of every party. I'd just stand in the corner and be like, hey, girls, gather around. <laughs> Actual size, of course, because I'm Italian. All right, hey, that's my time, guys. Johnny Cardinelli, have a great night. Johnny Cardinelli, let him hear it. Very good, very good. Yeah, he and I have a lot in common. We both have high foreheads, curly hair, and really difficult last names. Cardinale Avnielli. We should never form a production company. <laughs> All right, uh, on that lukewarm joke, I'm going to bring on your next comedian. Another very funny guy, uh, and his name is actually easy to say, and he's also uh, easy to look at. Uh, please welcome to the stage Charles Ball. My car just went up $850 in value. Uh, it still looks the same and it still drives the same. It's just no longer impounded. Very <laughs> big fan of that. Well, let's get through this. You learn a lot when they put your car in jail. It's pretty simple. Uh, guys out there, ask women out on the bus. <laughs> Simple as that. You know nobody on public transportation is going to turn down a free meal, all right? <laughs> so now we have that set. Uh, I was recently driving through Georgia, and I read on the welcome sign it says, Thanks for keeping Georgia on your mind. <laughs> all right, Georgia. First of all, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay, just because I'm inside you, I have to be thinking about you at all points? Oh, you need to get over yourself. I'm just using you to get to Florida. <laughs> States be front. Uh, pictures are worth a thousand words, right? And everybody says that silence is golden. No wonder talk is cheap. Like, no, I know what? That's supposed to be math? It's not. 
<laughs> if history repeats itself, then where are the dinosaurs? <laughs> it's been 65 million years, all right? Converse sneakers came back twice in like 25. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Oh, let's get better looking. <laughs> Uh, the other day I got stoned and, and watched a silent film. I ended up narrating it. <laughs> People give me a hard time for smoking weed, but I smoke weed because laundry kicks ass with the soundtrack. <laughs> you start your dark cycle at the same time you start dark side of the moon? Three times, three cycles. No one's here? No one's ever done laundry? Laundry? Anyone? about breathing. I have a great joke about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh man. Do you think retarded people wear helmets because they think it's going to help them collect their thoughts? <laughs> I got news. And speaking of which, like, I think it's unfair that certain diseases are named in a way that the people with the disease can't pronounce them. <laughs> Like speech impediment? <laughs> really? It's like eight syllables. You know, I can't I can't get any information from my friend with a speech impediment. He's like, oh well, well what's wrong, Perry? But the doctor say I have a yes. <laughs> what Perry? The doctor say I have a, a yes. I have a yes. You have a list? What? See, it's hard. It's hard to try and relate that. You know, I can't understand what he's going through. It's like my little sister with Down Syndrome. If I didn't know any better, how am I supposed to relate that? Deborah Ann, Deborah Ann, what's wrong with you? Good God, to tell! That doesn't sound anything like Down Syndrome. At all. You know, see, like, that's the whole thing. It's like, it's not funny. I'm pretty sure Lou Gehrig knew how to say Lou Gehrig disease. <laughs> Sorry, like this, see, this is why I'm jealous of you as an audience. You know, I spend countless hours figuring out if this is or is not funny. <laughs> but it takes out like less than three seconds. Well played. Well played. I, I recently heard an argument that Vincent Van Gogh's brushstrokes would not have been such an, uh, an immense thing in his artwork if it weren't for his influence by absent. Guys, come on. I mean, anybody who knows anything about Vincent Van Gogh knows that the main influence he was under was the Hooker May May. <laughs> that old school French Revolution Hooker May May. I mean, she is on the clock. She'll break your dick off and then sign out. That's her job. You mean to tell me that won't give you a starry night? That's the kind of May May that makes you want to give a piece of yourself to a woman, but you can't give her a wiener at dinner. You know, it's a piece that's more intricate. It's a little something that says, baby, I'm here. And I'm listening. <laughs> when I have bad days, I like to knock stuff over with my dick. <laughs> Just walk around the house like, fuck you, porcelain figurines. You're no match for me. I'm a giant. <laughs> Oh, man. I wish so bad that I had theme music. You know, but like the only problem is I'm never going to save the day. You know, so why can't I get a little bit of crazy train when I pay the bills on time? That's all I want. A little Led Zeppelin when I make it home from work before an hour. I'm being greedy, I understand. I just want to rock. God damn it. I just want to rock, you know? Like I see Axl Rose and Scott Weiland and these people like, oh, sweet child of mine. Doing all this crazy shit. I can't use my body like that. I have no reason. I can't be in Krispy Kreme and see them turn the hot sign on and be like, oh, Danish of mine. I can't get away with that. You can throw blankets on me and start hitting me with Bibles. <laughs> Uh, you ladies like a guy with a sense of humor, right? Not accordingly. No, you don't. If you did, you wouldn't get so mad when I pulled the chair all the way out from under you at dinner. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you know, it's just a joke. I spent all night trying to set this up. Like, I brought you flowers, I opened your door, I even buckled you in and turned the airbag on. 
Now look at us. Your face is soaked with tears because I laughed at you in public. My face is soaked with comp water because apparently I'm an asshole. <laughs> you know, it's okay. It's just a joke. You can get me back later when you tell your girlfriends. I come as fast as the appetizer. <laughs> Remember who you are and where you came from. Forget who I am and where you saw me. Thank you. Charles Ball, ladies and gentlemen. What's that monkey doing for this? Yeah. Cool, all right, I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna bring on your next comedian, another very funny guy. He's been on television, he's been on Comedy Central, and uh, the Canadian Comedy Central, which I think yeah. is called uh, Comedy Central, eh? Uh, please welcome to the stage, Alex Nussbaum. You're cool, Lori, really. But I need to be alone. I need to make a fresh start. Aren't I a fresh start? <laughs> Doesn't get much fresher start than old Lori. I'm practically a virgin. That has nothing to do with it. I didn't mean to, you know, try and lick people. I'm really sorry, okay? Lori, I just need to stay focused. When I find a college, I'll send you my email. We can write. I want to tell her. I mean, there's really nothing to tell. And if there were, it's just what happens, right? What are you talking about? Your girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. You were saying her name. What? Well, I was in the back. I wasn't eavesdropping, but you kept saying it like, Maria, Maria, Maria. <laughs> I didn't mean to make fun. I guess I'm jealous. You know what? Here I am. I mean, I'm usually like, all guys are assholes, but here you're this moral, moral guy, and I'm like, <laughs> mad because you turn out to be nice. How fucked up is that? If it didn't be wrong against her, then all right. All right, nice knowing you, Eric Menko. I don't know what you think you heard. There's no girlfriend. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I need to take a leak. music in there? I can teach you music. I know all the new music. Can we start that over? I messed up. Just keep, just start. <laughs> Did they let you listen to music in there? I can teach you. I know all the new music. Okay, so I don't actually know the words to this one. I'm not really that into them, but everyone else thinks they're cool. Everyone thought they were like brother and sister, but it turns out they were divorced. There's a train station in this next town. I'll give you some cash for the train back to Buffalo. I thought I'd just take one back from Syracuse. You're cool, Lori, really, but I need to be alone. I don't, I need to make a fresh start. Aren't I a fresh start? Doesn't get much fresher than good old Lori. I'm practically a virgin. That has nothing to do with it. I didn't mean to, you know, try and lick people. I'm really sorry, okay? Lori, I just need to stay focused. When I find a college, I'll send you my email. We can write. I wouldn't tell her. I mean, there's really nothing to tell. And if there were, it's just what happens, right? What are you talking about? Your girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. You were saying her name. What? Well, I was in the back. I wasn't eavesdropping, but you kept saying it like, Maria, Maria, Maria. I didn't mean to make fun. I guess I'm just jealous. You know what? Here I am. I mean, I'm usually like all guys are assholes, but 
here you're this moral, moral guy. And I'm like, mad, because you turn out to be nice. How fucked up is that? If you think you'd be wrong against her, then all right. All right. Nice knowing you, Eric Mango. I don't know what you think you heard. There's no girlfriend. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I need to take a leak. Okay. I'm 16. I'm old enough to be your girlfriend. Even if I were 15, I wouldn't tell on you. Is it because I'm a freak? You're not a freak. You said it before. You listen too closely to every little thing people say. You remember stuff you should forget. You can do things to me. Things you want. Things you can't say. It doesn't work like that, Lori. You could. Day at the railroad tracks. There's something so perfect in that kiss. Laurie, I never kissed anybody. Yes, you did. Not really. Not like you think. Be just like me. <laughs> to make that up to. Let's go inside, Laurie. Just stay quiet. Use your hand. What I want. Do it. Dissolve me. Do it. I love you. Sixteen. I'm old enough to be your girlfriend. Even if I were fifteen, I wouldn't tell. Is it because you think I'm a freak? You're not a freak. You said it before. You listen too closely to every little thing people say. Do you remember stuff you... Sh Doesn't matter if you mess up, just keep going. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just start over there. I'm not going to start the camcorder over. Sixteen. I'm old enough to be your girlfriend. Even if I were fifteen, I wouldn't tell. Is it because I'm a freak? You're not a freak. You said it before. You listen too closely to every little thing people say. You remember stuff you should forget. You could do things to me. Things you want. Things you can't say. It doesn't work like that, Lori. It could. That day at the railroad tracks. There was something so perfect in that kiss. Lori, I never kissed anybody. Yes, you did. Not really. Not like you think. I would just be like me, too. To dream that up. Let's go inside, Lori. Just stay quiet. Use your hands. It's what I want. Do it. Dissolve me. Do it. I love you.